Hello again, Pisces. Sorry, I've been missing in action. Been a bit busy celebrating my birthday, April 24th, down in Louisiana. Anyways, like I said, this is for May 2019. I am not really pulling cards for love. I'm doing whatever uh, falls on the table, uh, what spirit tells me. Okay, my information is down below if you need more of a personal energy read because this is gender neutral and for the mass. <laughs> All right. Uh, that being said, I am affordable. I'm not going to charge you an arm and leg for guidance. Okay, I'm not going to use my gifts to rob people. But my email is Torian tarot 84 at gmail.com and you can you can find that down below as well do not claim energy that is not yours do not sit in misery if it is not yours okay I know we're all here for guidance that being said uh, when I was kind of pre-shuffling the cards you're very you're very stuck uh, I believe is what I the imagery was of which way to go which road to take? You want to take a giant leap. Uh, is that the right one? You also just want to work on yourself, but you are missing someone. That could be a kid, a family member, a, a lover. Okay, but this person helped fill your your emotional needs. We are going to start with the or thing or animal. We're going to start with the Mermaid Oracle deck. Alright. Give Pisces some moon rising and Venus, please, spirit. Guide. Guide. Endurance. Alright. New beginning. Challenging. Hang it on. Okay. Mentor, trustworthy ally. You need a guide. You need the endurance to keep going. You're very fragile. You're trying to create something that will last for a very long time. Okay. I'm going to show you these cards and I'm going to get a little more in depth to the actual meeting. I'm just kind of reading them. You know? <laughs> so, 18. Give you a brief overview of all of them. Okay. It's time for a well thought through act of connection, a ritual or spell with the realm of the mere beings, with the sea, with our creature. When done with great formality and mindfulness, many acts can become magical and reconnect us to the sacred within us and outside of us. You may wish to ritually bathe in tidal pool, which could be naturally formed rock pool or a sacred, a sacred bath just for yourself. Uh, da -da -da -da. Allow the pool of the water to drain away anything that must be left behind for you to go forward again. To go to your own personal high tide and change of time, the salt water crystals will dra drag through your auric layer, clearing and cleansing, leaving you feeling light and free. Yet very present and clear. The warm waters of the tidal pool make them mermaidenly goddess pools of healing. You're needing a rebirth. It's time to work with ruins, which have a great history of being drawn to the sand as messages. You gotta act. Act, 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 act. You're calling upon some guide that you need. Let's see. Thanks for bearing with me. <laughs> uh, this is a magical talisman to enhance beauty and to ensure protection has long been used. Uh, what message a uh, precious tiny creature is communicating to you? Red coral will prevent bleeding. Blue coral can prevent illness and disease. Restore balance, soul, and emotion. Gold coral, uh, abundance and great fortune. Black coral banishes negative energy. 
Angel skin coral, soft pink coral can be worked with to prevent any skin conditions, and white coral is a rebirth times transformation, allowing change. You're in a fragile state right now, and you're needing the endurance. You're trying to find a guide uh, of wisdom here. <sighs> so this new leap. Every time I do your guys' reading, I get very, I don't know, um, light. I feel like a power. <sighs> Weird. Sorry. <laughs> I did just work a very long shift, so sorry for my appearance. I'm trying to get these out here for you. Spirit, please give me a more direct message for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, for these cards that are laid out in front of me, please. I'm a mess. <laughs> I'm an absolute mess right now. The Hermit's also a guy with his lantern, searching the land, searching his inner self for the answers, trying to shine the light on the dark, dancing around. Weathered, lost his eyes, got his eyes closed, really. Shine the light where I don't need to go. Three of Wands. Again, surveying your options. Which route to take. You have three. I think that's why you got three cards here. I haven't been doing 3D work with for anyone. But your heart is almost winning out on this decision, isn't it? You've been fighting it. You've been trying to find uh, a different route, but you keep being led back to this one no matter how much you try. No matter how much you try, you only see this one thing <laughs> because no matter where you go, you know it's passion. It's something you've never had before, and it offers you a new beginning. But you have to actually put work into it, love. You want something to pay off, you gotta put down the ground work. You gotta have the endurance, as I said, for it. You can't just have passion. Passion don't pay the bills. Ten of Wands in reverse. You're finally gonna lay down all the burden. One more card, please. Thank you. Oh, shit. Oh. Two of coins. Two of coins and water, boats, travel. Evening out. One option is bigger than the other. It's like the ace, while the other one is a page. You already know which direction you want to go. His face is even leaning more towards the ace. See the difference here? You know that's actual real offer. That's the king next to queen. That's the new beginning, that's the stability, that's your foundation, that's your guide, that's your endurance, that's your healing. Okay. Damn, which one just totally flipped itself? Where is it? It's totally flipped here. Can you guess what card this is? That's you. Sitting in the dark with your illusions, trying to open your third eye, trying to find guidance. Hermit's got his eyes closed. Even though he's shining the light on the real answer, he's just refusing to open them right now to see it. 
right? <laughs> Seven of Cups at the bottom. Illusions, illusions, imagination, a lot of choices. The Fool, after you gain the clarity. All right, I'm gonna use my mini tarot to kind of back it up, right? Stay with me. Stay tuned, folks. Stay tuned. I'm coming at ya. Oh, weirdo sometimes, my bad. Mm. We have the Page of Cups. Standing there all suave with his hand in his pocket like, hey, do you want this cup or do you not want this cup? I did see the Star card. And the Nine of Pentacles. <laughs> Nine of Pentacles just flipped out my hand as I was saying. Okay. This is an independent venture. Are you actually the Page of Pentacles is one to offer nonchalantly the cup to the Nine of Pentacles, which always tells me it's like the Empress in and stand on her own independently. He's like nonchalantly like, hey, do you want that cup or do you not want the cup? She's like, I don't know, man. I'm pretty cool. I can afford, I can um, create my own balance. You've also got the Page of Pentacles. I'm mainly seeing fire and earth here. All right, six of pentacles, queen of swords, whatever the hell fell out down here. Mm -hmm. yeah, seven of pentacles and the lovers. So you planted the seed in the middle of winter and it still grew. You abandon it. You abandon that tree for the snow to fall. Sorry about my camera doing weird things, trying to focus. Because you left it for another choice. You see the lover's card here? Does he want an overnight thing or does he want uh, stability? Does he want the sensual one who's luring him or does he want the one that's like, here I am, here I am. You left one to grow on its own. And she became the Nine of Pentacles, he or she. But they were wanting to share with you, even though money didn't matter to them. As you see, she's like bored with it. And you widowed them. This could be he or she. I'm just saying, Queen of Swords is sharp and feels widowed. And someone else is about to come claim it. They're about to come claim it. But you're wanting to rush back in all of a sudden. I see eight of wands. You're directing exactly where you want to go. Alright, I do feel this is a... Uh, it's like you want to be independent. But you expect... You're looking for guidance because you left... It's like you want your freedom, but you want the person to wait for you and they're bored of it. Bored of it. You're shutting up. You're shutting your eyes to the truth of it, really. Shut your eyes to the truth of it because you felt you did not have enough to make this go around and you are having uh, financial issues in your life. That's why you're wanting to be like, I want this love, but I'm still leaving over here until this time to get my shit together. But someone else is about to come pick it up. They're about to find it. Playfulness to recapture romance, liar, inner youthful spirit, a fun shine. Because listen, a real love. 
or whatever, a real whatever. Yes, money is a factor. Stability is a factor. That coming from a Taurus. Okay? The real love will follow you. Real love will follow you. It says you also need to release the ex. Release the energy that is causing so much friction where you cannot see the truth and find the real guided road. The real lit road. Very Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rain. Very resistant. You are. You are very resistant. You like to sit in the dark and play where others can see. That's why the eyes are closed. Maybe the other person place thing needs the endurance to keep going, to keep hanging on. Spirit, can I please have a more direct message for these cards that are laid out in front of me for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for May 2019, please? More direct message for these cards that are laid out in front of me. <laughs> Dearest you on Earth, humans learn about life by telling stories and creating new ones based on shared experiences. Eventually, after repeating one often enough, it becomes your main story that you use to define yourself and the world. So to get the answers you seek, you must get vulnerable and hear your story when you tell it. Ask, why do you tell it? Is it really true, though? What else can be true? Can you see the truth that spirit is all things? Turn it with your eyes closed. Do you see how other stories overlap and intertwine? Spirit loves stories, for they are like blueprints for co-creation. So tell the one we know to be true about you. A story of courage, gratitude, and honesty. Tell an empowered story about well-being, wisdom, and grace. You will experience your world according to the story you tell about it. So make sure the stories you're proud of. Not as a, I wish I had, I should have done. I should not have let that be in my way. I shouldn't have let this person stop me. I should have seen the light. The one that got away, the job I should have done. Mm. Alright. I'm going to leave it at that, my love. Let me know if you'd like to see me, you like to see the cards. Um, if you like to see both, that's cool too. <laughs> All right, um, I'll catch you on the flip side.